Annyeonghaseyo! Hi guys! So, sorry I'm really behind on doing any of my vlogs. I actually plan on doing my vlog for my post vlog for uh, Warp Tour, which was actually back on the 13th. Um, and it's, now it's the 30th. But I got busy doing um, two of my makeup tutorials, and then I got, and then I was just busy with work. Um, I'm actually gonna plan, I'm actually gonna get and get, be getting ready for California and stuff next month. Um, <coughs> and I'm getting my hair changed to color blue on, um, back to blue on the, um, 12th. So you guys will see a different change and stuff with me with that. So, um, I wanted to do, like, a, the, the little vlog on Warp Tour. Warp Tour was freaking amazing this year. I brought my friend Laurel with me, and it was her first Warp Tour. And it was definitely very interesting. Um, the beginning was very interesting, though. Um, it poured so much where it was actually flooding some of the roads. Um, uh, and part of our campsite, not not too much, but um, uh, they decided to move Warp Tour and stuff. Um, it was still... There were still shows in the main main um, uh, venue, um, but instead of if you've ever been to Darien Lake, you know how there's a hill and then there's doors and then there's on the other side they usually put the other stages and the other you know tents and stuff. Well, this year they didn't do that and stuff. They actually used part of the side like um, like there's a road in between. And there's like areas on the other side, um, kind of like the little parking lots, but they're big enough where you didn't even realize that they were the parking lots. Um, <coughs> so people didn't have to worry about too much of with actually dealing with the mud, and so it was actually really nice. I think Warp Tour was definitely very quick on do the fixing those, adjusting to it, adapting to what's going on. But um, besides the rain in the morning, which we actually thought Warp Tour was going to be canceled, which they didn't. Uh, it started a little later, but it wasn't too bad. It actually Warp Tour ended up at like eleven and stuff, uh, but um, it was definitely well worth it. Um, I liked actually found out I actually got to see New Year's Day, which was freaking amazing. We were front we were front row for them, which was I was so happy about. Um, uh, <laughs> Nikki Misery broke at least two or three of his strings. You can actually see my video and stuff on my uh, concert videos where actually Nikki Misery broke one of his uh, uh, guitar strings, <coughs> which was very interesting. But he kept playing and stuff, and then he was playing with it, and then it was it was pretty hilarious. Um, then we saw a band called Dan we saw a band called Creeper, um, and they were freaking amazing. Um, the lead singer reminds me of a mixture of uh, Chris Motionless, and it was like he reminded me a little bit of Chris Motionless and stuff. And it was very sweet. They were all really sweet people. Sweet people. Um, There's a female in the group, and she played piano and she played on keyboards, and she was amazing. Um, we got to see a new ba uh, band that we haven't, I've heard of, but didn't actually get to, like, see, was Dance Gavin Dance. Um, me and Laura both agreed on it that the leads, that the leads, the one lead singer, actually, he sounds like, um, he sounds like Kellen Quinn. And then he look he, he sounds like Kellen Quinn and he looks like, um, he looks like, uh, what's his name, actually, um, plays... Uh, Sam in Supernatural. So he looked at the picture, picture of Sam and Kellen Quinn. I was like, he had the voice of Kellen Quinn and he had the look of Sam Winchester um, from Supernatural. So I was like, okay, okay, okay. So we got, kind of got me into watching, got me into them <coughs> um, because it's, they, the lead singer was very interesting. And so it was actually they were really awesome. I didn't get to see Attila. I got to see like the audience that came in. But we went to go watch another band. Um, we got to watch go watch um, um, uh, William Control. And I actually finally got to meet him. Um, you guys can go see my picture on my Instagram. I got to finally get a hug from him, and I got to meet him. And I was so freaking so freaking happy. And he was so sweet and so nice. My friend Laura wasn't too happy because he was very sweaty. He was, like, drenched in sweat. Um, but I didn't care because I got the hug Chris Motionless. So it was awesome. I mean, he was so sweet, just so nice. And he called me sweetheart. And I was like, ah! Um, I got to be, I got to be in control, finally! Um, <coughs> and he blew me a kiss and stuff from stage and everything. And he kept, like, looking over at me. He kept blowing me a kiss. I was like, I, like, ah! Like, control blew me a kiss from stage. And I told him when I got to see him and, like, got to meet him and stuff, I'm like, you, I saw you blow me a kiss on stage, and he just gave a smile. I was like, oh, my God. Ah. 
But it was it was so freaking like and then we get to see Andy and stuff at the end of the night. Um uh, and also we get to see uh Yeah. <laughs> I had a brain farce for a second, I'm so sorry. Um but we got to see um we got to see them. We got to see Andy and who he was he put on a great show. This other we didn't get to like front row, but we were like off to the side so we got still got a really good view and I got like two videos, short videos, and then my phone died what was gonna die. Um, but I got a lot of pictures and stuff so you guys can I posted a lot of them on my Instagram, so you guys can go check those out. Um uh, let me see. But they actually they, I was very happy <coughs> about this word and we actually me and my friend Lisa actually found the hydration station so we kept going back to it every single time because we've been there so this was our this was our like third three or third or fourth year this was our fourth year so actually we were like we heard about the hydration station but we never actually found it and we finally found it and we we're like okay this is the this is the fabled uh hi this is the fabled hydration station <laughs> But I'm, I'm definitely, it's definitely a smart idea that Warped Tour has that because you don't have to have a specific bottle, you can have a plastic bottle. And the fact that we were able to keep ourselves hydrated um, was just wonderful because, I mean, the chance of one of us passing out, we would not want that to happen. Um, we also got to see a, a band called uh, CKY, and they were actually pretty good. <coughs> I was actually very surprised with how freaking good they were. Um, <clears throat> I actually finally got to hear. I got finally got to hear. Hi, I prevail. I got to. They, I went to their concert with when um with uh, Vamps, but I didn't get to stay and see them and everything. And um, actually getting to hear the band was like I was like, whoa! So this is who. This is what I've been waiting to listen to. And I like definitely liked I prevail. Um, let me see. Dance, Kevin, dance. Yep. Um, let me see. Oh yeah, Memphis May Fire. <coughs> it was nice seeing Memphis May Fire. Like Maddie Mullins is adorable as all heck. Um, so definitely, it was definitely a great, um, uh, definitely great. They definitely put on a great show, and I love them. I want to trying to find where I can show you guys the one band that um, let me see. Mm. It was on the other side of the stage. I think it was on the, the monster stage, I think. Bless the Fall was awesome. Um, I'm trying to find... Not Crucifix. Um... It was, um, yeah, Wind Control was awesome. <clears throat> I'm trying to find the band that I was, it wasn't Hard Rock. Ah, crap, where is it? Full Sail, no. If you get a chance to check a Creeper, you definitely would like them. That definitely was actually really, 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 really good. Um, let me see. There's a lot of full sale ones that I that I didn't get to see, but they I think they were really. I think they could have been really, really, really good. You see. <coughs> I'm trying to find left foot, right foot. I think it was monster the monster Newton North. Wage War, Mutant South, Skull Candy, Hard Rock. Full Sail. It was like something matchbox something. I, I can't remember. Um but New Year's Day, amazing as ever. 
they never seem to they never seem to <laughs> disappoint me. Um, fit for a king? No. Apparently, I can't find him now. So we're seeing you no. Know, bad seed rising. Farewell, Dar's microwave. Oh, um, Sonic Boom Six. <coughs> Me and my friend Lisa, best friend Lisa, we weren't a big fan of Sonic Boom 6. Um, I felt like, I, I, I'm i not bad, if you like Sonic Boom 6, that's your thing. I wasn't a big fan of Sonic Boom 6. Um, specifically, I wasn't a fan of the lead singer. Didn't I don't feel like she had the voice. Um, but that's, if you like them, but I'd definitely say Sonic Boom 6 stuck out to me as... Um, not my favorite band of all Warp Tour. Um, they just didn't really fit right and stuff with with me. I wasn't really a big fan of them. Um, but definitely, I think this was a very fun Warp Tour. I can't wait till next year because next year I'm going to be bringing my best friend. My, I'm going to be bringing my best friend Laurel with me again. My best friend Danny because we really want her to go, and my girlfriend. My girlfriend's going to be going to Warp Tour in the next next year too. <coughs> I'm really freaking excited to bring her with Warp. Bring her to Warp Tour with me because. She is a drummer, and I'm a singer, and we both love bands and stuff, and um, I really wanted to be able to experience, and especially to be out of a theme park with her, too. Um, um, we actually get to experience going to Motionless and White and stuff with each other on Halloween on the 31st, um, and everything in October, so this will be our first concert together, and I'm really freaking excited. Um, definitely experience that with her. But definitely Warp Tour was, um, was very fun. Besides the pouring rain and stuff at the beginning of the day, but if Warp Tour did, if it rain, didn't rain at least once during Warp Tour, um, even like a sprinkle, then it's not Warp Tour. Warp Tour was definitely is like Mother Nature's like, okay, it's Warp Tour time, time to rain. Um, but if you get a chance, Darien Lake is the best one to go for me. I love going to, um, because you get to go on the roller coasters, you get to spend time there, and you get to, um, and you get to actually see the bands. Um, Andy was wearing just a vest on stage, um, so he didn't, was wearing a shirt, and it was very, very, very beautiful, very beautiful. Um, let me see. This is actually me getting to hug um, Wayne Control. I'm so short. I'm so short. But it was definitely a great. Um, Definitely a great stage. Um, I'm trying to see if I can. The lead singer of Creeper. Definitely, that voice was like freaking amazing. I think was it. Yeah, definitely, if you looked at that picture, you would think that it was Chris. You think that you would, if you looked at it, you would think that that was Chris and stuff on stage. Um, but it's not. It's the lead singer Creeper. Apparently, they're all from England. They're from England or something like that. But um, definitely great memories and stuff this year at Warp Tour, and I cannot wait for next year bring my girlfriend and bring my best friend Laurel and my best friend Danny with me. So, I hope you guys go check this video out. I hope you guys like this video and you guys should check out my concert, my videos that I took at Warp Tour. Um, I only took a few short ones, but I but I put in my concert videos, which you can go check out in my the concert play concert slash K-pop concert video playlist. Um, give this video lots of likes. I lo will love you very much and I'll be very, very happy. Also, click in the bottom box where you can go check out my inter Instagram, cosplay, Facebook page, Snapchat, DeviantArt. Um, and you guys can go, like, see the pictures that I posted on there. You guys can go subscribe, follow, comment, like. Um, also click subscribe, which is by the like button, so you guys don't miss any of the vlogs I do. Um, I plan on doing more cosplay, some definitely more cosplay stuff coming up with my girl, coming down, visit my girlfriend and everything. Also, with KCON, don't forget, you guys won't, don't want to miss any of those vlogs and those videos. And I will give you guys some more and stuff coming up. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys later. Annyeong!